everyone, it's Lou Collins and thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I've got a bit of a sort of mixed media card for you, lots and lots of layers using the new Textures in the Stars collection. So this just launched last week um, and this is using the Dreamcatcher in there, we've got the stamps in there, we've also got stamps in the background as well, lots and lots of layers, some inking techniques and such. So um, I hope you enjoy all of the techniques that are in here and everything I've used is linked down below. Please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button if you haven't already and um, I look forward to creating this along with you. Now let's get started. So we're going to start with the Dreamcatcher die and I'm just going to die cut this from white. Now I don't want to make too uh, big a thing of the Dreamcatcher, I don't want it to be uh, a solid colour that's really going to stand out. So I'm just going to pop that inside my die cutting plates and to use some low tack tape just to hold it still. Let's use another clean piece. And I'm going to run this through Usually a couple of times, I tend to try and put it in at a bit of an angle because it is a big die. So I'll run that through a couple of times and then uh, we'll come back and pop all the pieces out. Here we go now, the release hole for this is down on the bottom of one of the feathers. So I tend to just then tuck my pokey tool underneath and I, I'm really gentle with the pieces that are hanging down from the Dreamcatcher because they're very delicate. But you see, that all needs cleaning up but then we just have to pop all of these pieces out. So take your time over this. Um, some material, some different cardstocks, all the pieces will just fall out on their own and some will just need a little nudge with the pokey tool like this one. I think the thicker the cardstock, the more likely it is that you need to just give it a little poke through, um, particularly if you're cutting something like uh, adhesive foam or any foam, the bits really stick to each other, but this is an extremely detailed an intricate die. It cuts beautifully as you can see everything's cut out absolutely fine. Uh, just takes a few minutes to get all the little pieces out so you've got a nice clean cut. So there we have the die cut. It's really beautiful, it's really delicate and it's actually quite large as well so it's suitable for lots of different types of cards. That's going to go in the middle of my DL card base. Now as you can see that is going to overlap ever so slightly um, but I'm not worried, that's absolutely fine. Now something else I want to do before I uh, start adding some ink is work with this stamp. So this stamp is also part of the In The Stars range and this is the Constellation stamp so I've stamped that half just black on white. I'm going to cut this out. I'm not going to be using the whole thing as a background. I'm just going to be using the frame. So if I cut around the edge here with my scissors. So I'll keep that. I might use that another time or later on, we shall see. But this is the frame. Now, you notice that actually this frame doesn't fit on a DL card base very easily. So I'm going to want to cut it. So what I'm going to do is just cut it down the center, just on in the middle of each one and I can then bring this frame in to whatever size I decide is sort of best so I think about that about there will be fine and then I can adhere it like so so I'm going to take a fine tip applicator now if you want to if you want to be clever you can cut the edges so for example here there's some lines that we can cut along so just so it looks more purposeful just going to do a little bit of glue here a little bit of glue here where did I say about about there will be okay and then try to keep it even so do the top about the same so so far we've got a frame and we've got a dream catcher that's going to sit on top so probably something I might do something like that and then I'll put a sentiment at the bottom here I think yeah so I also want to do a little bit of stamping now not a huge amount these are the stamps that I've used but I really like these black leaves and I haven't actually got any that are going to be uh, in the cut out pieces I've already cut some areas out as you can see I haven't got any are going to be there so I'm actually going to stamp directly onto my card base and the bonus of this is that actually then there's a layer underneath the dream catcher and everything as well so just inking with VersaFine and I'll stamp in this top corner here and then I'll do the same And 
and I'll come down to about here. This is completely guessing about there. Lovely. Might just add a little bit of texture as well with let's use this constellation stamp here so this is the one that I used for the frame originally and just pop let's use black soot because it's not quite as dark then I'm just going to use some of the texture some of the detail that's there and just do a couple of areas not a lot again just a little bit like so and lastly I'm going to take a spray ink and do a couple of dots there we go so you need to make sure that that black ink is all completely dry because the next stage is going to be um, a little bit on the messy side and it could reactivate the ink so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go with yeah, I'm going to go with blue and yellow it's not a color combination I use very often at all so I'm going to put some tumbled glass in a distress oxide onto a small strip of um, it's just acetate just thin acetate it could be a piece of pla uh, packaging plastic packaging something like that I'm just going to give that a couple of little spritzes and I can there we go right so now I'm going to just pop this down piece there and a bit there just allowing that to soak in now as you can see the blue is already starting to react with the um, the grey, the black, so that will deepen it and darken it a little. And then let's do the same with the yellow. I'm going to let that blue dry though before I put the yellow on because uh, what I don't want is the yellow and the blue mixing too much and just creating a green. There, so I've dried the worst of the blue off. I'm going to try and keep this yellow quite uh, so quite a solid colour so just mixing it around and I'm going to place this in the middle now it is a light yellow scattered straw is one of the lighter yellows well it is the I believe the lighter yellow unless you go down sort of the antique linen look which is kind of you're getting more into uh, browns then I suppose beiges but just letting the cardstock soak that up there we go. So we've got some of the baby colours, isn't it? Yellow and pale blue. Nice, but I'm happy with that. So one more dry and then we'll start layering on top. So now this frame is going to sit on top of here. Um, I was going to put it on foam pads, but I don't think, I don't feel the need to actually. I think that'll be okay just being glued down as it is. Just there. That just frames the card and then this is going to go down over the top now I think I do want to put this with some foam underneath just to raise it up a little bit I'm just popping that around the edge there okay so next I'm going to come to these elements so these are pieces that I've fussy cut out so I've stamped stamps from this set this is the in the stars set now you can see mine are very dirty I've been using them an awful lot but I have stamped lots of them now some are stamped black onto white cardstock and some are stamped white onto black cardstock so I've just had a bit of a play with mixing them and I think it actually it works nicely and I'm just going to layer up some of these I don't want to go too I might actually just keep that like so so this is where I start to play and figure out where everything's going to go that might even be too much so that's supposed to go in that circle that one on there um, and then the little butterfly there and then we can have a sentiment so again lots and lots of detail going into this lots of texture 
and such, but all very much the same sort of theme. So now I think I've chosen my composition. What I am going to do is just um, have a think about adding a little bit of blue, the same blue, the same tumble glass into one or two of the elements. And that's just going to help tie in the background with the foreground. So I've just inked that butterfly there, for example. Um, and I might ink this kind of planet here, the moon, just a touch. There we go. And I might actually bring that one into there instead. There we go, yeah, perfect, okay. And that butterfly is going to be a bit higher. Now I'm going to glue those down, or rather put those down with foam where I can. Um, and then I'm going to look at a sentiment. So I've got here, while I'm gluing these down, I've got these sentiments here, and these are another set from the In The Stars Textures range. This is the Celestial Words, and we've got some really lovely words in here. Let's just pop that on there. So some areas I'm going to put down with foam, some areas I'm going to be putting down with glue. Really, You can do anything. Just to tone that down ever so slightly. That's better. Slightly better blue there. Very little difference, but I can see it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on the body of the butterfly, or the moth, it's a moth. I keep calling it a butterfly, but it is a moth on there. Okay, so there we have it. There's our extremely dimensional and layered card that we've created using the textures in the stars collection. There's still lots more here that I've got to play with, bits that I've cut out. Um, but I love cards like this. I love the movement we have in these feathers as well. Um, I just think that's really fun. Lots and lots, so much texture, so many layers, so much for you to look at as well. Um, and any recipient would just hopefully think that's really lovely. Okay, thank you everybody so much for joining me. Everything I've used, you can find linked down below. Um, I hope you have a go at a card similar to this and do let me know if you do so I can check it out too. Um, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you wish and I hope to see you again very soon. Take care, bye bye.